Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaVan. In today's video, I will discuss about how to handle non-viable particulate excursion and how to investigate excursion in non-viable particulate count under grade A. So when we are filling aseptically manufactured product, when we are filling sterile products, whether it is a filling machine under isolator or it is open wraps, it is closed wraps, maintaining grade A is very very important and if there is an excursion, it has to be investigated. Both EU guidance, EU Annex 1 as well as FDA guidance is, uh, defines the requirement about maintaining the grade A during the aseptic filling process and that is important in terms of providing a sterile product, maintaining the product sterility. Non-viable particulate counts are direct indication of whether the grade A is maintained or not and secondly the particulates can support the or can act as a carrier of the microorganism so it is very important to monitor the NVPC counts under grade A during critical activities. So when we have any NVPC excursion, non-viable particulate excursion, how to investigate? Let's talk. So first and foremost, whenever there is an excursion, we need to know what was the time and what was the activity during that time and at which location, which exact location we have observed this non-viable particle count. These three are very important information which will decide the impact of having NVPC excursion on the product being processed. Uh, filling machines are coming with the interlock that if there is an NVPC excursion it will stop automatically and will wait for the counts to be to come counts to come within limit. So that is that is a alarm or indication or interlock is there uh, to prevent further processing when you have NVPC counts. Now what happens next? We have to see during this activity or during this excursion what was happening and what we need to investigate. First and foremost, where is the location? If the location is such that there is a constantly moving parts or vibratory parts on the filling machine, for example, rubber stopper bowl, if it is there and it is contributing to the particulates, then there is one of the reason it can be. If any operator has done any intervention during that process, that is another thing. Third thing is whether we have any uh, uh, problem with the differential pressure within the room or within the grade A isolator which can lead to not maintaining the DP or we can indicate any ingress of outside air inside grade A or any disturbance within the grade A. That is third point. One more is as a part of investigation we have to check whether the air velocity of that uh, grade A was maintained during that period, whether there is any problem with the air velocity. And if you are not concluding any root cause basis this, then we have to further go and investigate that whether the HEPA filter at the exact same location or, uh, is having any problem or not. Uh, cleaning process we have to look at it. What happens that uh, if the certain areas within the filling machine is not cleaned properly, then it can lead to certain deposition which which at certain point of time it will come as an excursion into your NVPC count. Uh, then we have to also doubt our NVPC counters whether the tubings, the funnel, the tube which are there are uh, cleaned properly or there is an empty cycle or first cycle to wash out all the initial particulates if, you, if, if that process is done or not or it was the effective or not. Then coming to the overall activity whether the filling process itself like for example uh, there is lot of movement or lot of friction between the containers for example wires on the turntable if that friction is uh, causing to uh, uh, generate particles are there any uh, friction between moving parts is there uh, going to contribute to the particulates within the grade or the operator practices are there any fast movement, are there any, any uh, uh, while uh, doing the intervention, if they are rubbing their hands or there is friction between any, any of the fingers or friction between the parts, then it can also lead to increase in the uh, particulate counts. So these are, these are the few uh, important points which we can consider uh, for, the, uh, for the investigation of non viable particle count during the batch process. Hope uh, this helps and I will be making more video on, on this same topic to better provide clarity how we can investigate NVPC excursion. 
होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो